Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's video is on order of operations. As you can see, I've got the noisy bandsaw going here behind me. We're trying to get multiple jobs done at one time. So, while it's cutting these square blocks, I'm going to be in there welding a flat plate on here. For this tube just had to. These are the anchors for the boring mill. I gotta have 44 of these anchors, so uh, it's important to be fairly efficient in doing this job so you don't waste a whole lot of time. So the way I figured the best way to do it, and it's gonna be the way I'm gonna do it here, and I'm gonna show you today. So while it's cutting away, I'll uh, go in here and weld on these up. Alright, so this will be in the concrete uh, once it's done. This will be at the top of the concrete and this will go down into it and it creates where it has to try and lift the whole slab in order to try and pull out. So this is a really strong anchor method. They use this on those big machines because you might actually need to pull the machine in order to get it into alignment and it's not hard to pull several thousands into a machine as big as what the HBM is. So you can do a lot of straightening and aligning with it uh, with the leveling screws more so than you can on a smaller machine. But uh, since this is down in the concrete, uh, there's going to be a plate inside pulling up. Uh, it doesn't need to be fully welded. It just needs to not fall apart. So I'm just going to tack weld it. And since I'm just going to Put some tacks on them. I'm going to use a 6011 because it, it arc starts easy. I like to weld with 7018s most of the time, but they don't start as easy. Uh, you know, they're not good for spot welding because they glaze over and you got to get them back, lit back up. They're hard to light after they've been struck. So I'm going to just throw some spots on here and get this roughly centered. It's not super critical and uh, weld this up. Alright, so here we are, 44 anchors, got them all welded up and ready to go, Bailey's giving them the look over, they prove, they're good, looks like they're good, so I'll show you what I got to do next, uh, could have put a hole in these plates beforehand but uh, I want them centered up on these pipes so I found an easy way to do that is to use the light. So 
I'm just slide these pipes in and it's going to be centered and don't have to hunt or do anything to find it. So, alright, so I think it's the fastest way to do this. Putting all my first holes in. And I swap them out in the chuck. Then once I get through all these, I'll go back and put the bigger bit in and Don't need to go real deep in the chuck, just enough to get it lined up. The deeper you go, the more cranky I make. That's an inch bit to three eighths of an inch of steel. Rinse and repeat. All right, so got it lined up. Here we go. Second operation, inch and a half bit, 180 RPM. I can chuck and rechuck these quicker than I can switch the bits out, so that's why I do them this way. that hard brown filler on my drill cuts. That's why I know I'm not running so fast I'm going to burn my bed up.
All right, final operation, here we go. It's in three quarter, 180 RPM. This will be the hold of size. And that's that. Alright, so that's that for this job. We've got uh, 44 of these done. So, can you see through that? Somewhere there. And the holes are in the center. Right where they need to be for clearance on the studs that go down through here. So I've got these anchors ready to go in the concrete. So that's one more step on getting ready to pour the concrete completed. So if I still got to make the nuts that go in these, so I got to cut out some square bar and drill and tap them for a 7 8 stud. And then that'll be the, the completion of this anchor project. So decided to share that with you how I go about doing this to make it go as quick as possible. Not spend too much time building all these. Uh, like I said, uh, it's all going in the concrete, so the only part you'll see is this part. The rest of it would be down underneath uh, eight, nine inches of concrete here, trying to lift out. So that's what I got. Uh, thanks to all my new subscribers, and thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy. I'll catch y'all later.